Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. WWE's Chief Content Officer Triple H has hired a lot of talent since 2022 including some former AEW stars like Andrade, Ethan Page, Jade Cargill, and more. Another major AEW star could show up in the Stanford-based promotion for a blockbuster clash against his former rival John Cena. Miro, FKA Rusev, left WWE and signed with AEW in 2020 and despite having a dominant run as TNT champion, he quickly fell victim to poor booking. It was recently reported that Miro has asked for his release from the Tony Khan-led promotion. The rumors have started the speculation about Miro's potential WWE return to reignite his feud with John Cena in 2025. At this year's Money in the Bank Premium Live event, John Cena announced that he will be retiring from in-ring competition in 2025, giving a lot of talent an opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with the franchise player for the last time. Miro can be one of his opponents. Both men have previously faced off in a United States Championship match at WrestleMania 31 in 2015 where Cena ended Miro's undefeated main roster streak by capturing the U.S. title. Renewing his rivalry with John Cena can be a step in the right direction for the former AEW TNT champion if he signs with WWE in the future. AEW stars Miro and CJ Perry are done with professional wrestling according to Dutch Mantel CJ Perry revealed in July 2024 that she was no longer a part of AEW. It seems like Miro will be following her out of the door as recent reports revealed that the Redeemer had also asked for his release from the Jacksonville-based promotion. In a March edition of his Storytime with Dutch Mantel podcast, former WWE manager Dutch Mantel claimed that Miro and CJ Perry might be done with professional wrestling as Perry is an influencer now and Miro has been having a great time streaming video games. Mantel claimed that the two do not need the professional wrestling business anymore. I think they're done with wrestling. She's CJ Perry, an influencer now. I think she's doing well, and I think he's, Miro, doing some gaming. So they're making good money from what I hear, doing other stuff. I never really got it, but now that she's doing the influencer deal, and I know some of those people are knocking it down because people know who she is and it's all based on viewership and clicks, I think Miro is doing something with gaming. I don't think they need the business anymore, he said. It will be interesting to see whether Miro heads back to the WWE if All Elite Wrestling grants him his release. As WWE continues to evolve under the leadership of Triple H, fans have witnessed numerous surprises, from shocking returns to dream matches that no one ever thought would happen. But now, a new rumor is buzzing throughout the wrestling world. Triple H is reportedly making bold moves to bring in a top AEW star for a blockbuster match against none other than John Cena, possibly one of the last matches before Cena's eventual retirement. This possibility has sent shockwaves through the industry, not just because it involves a potential AEW to WWE jump, but because of the magnitude of the match itself. John Cena, a 16-time world champion and an undeniable legend, may be stepping into the squared circle for one of his final battles. But to elevate this match to something truly historic, Triple H knows that Cena needs a fresh, exciting challenge, someone who can match his larger-than-life persona, wrestling ability, and star power. Triple H's vision, Cena's last chapter since taking over creative control, Triple H has focused on building WWE into a product that honors the past while embracing the future. However, Triple H also has a deep appreciation for marquee matches, the kind that leave a lasting legacy for both the competitors and the fans. John Cena's legendary status in WWE means that his final match should be nothing less than extraordinary, and that's where the idea of bringing in a top AEW star comes into play. The selection process, however, wouldn't just be about talent. It would need to be someone with the charisma, wrestling style, and storytelling ability to match Cena's undeniable presence. Triple H understands that the match can't be a simple passing of the torch moment. It must be something deeper, a storyline fueled by personal pride, legacy, and the competitive spirit that has defined John Cena's career for over two decades. 
Who could be the AEW star? There's no shortage of talented wrestlers in AEW, but to take on John Cena in what could be one of his final matches, it has to be someone who can hang with him both in the ring and on the mic. Among the rumored names, one stands out above all, MJF, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF, known for his sharp wit, killer promos, and undeniable wrestling ability, seems like the perfect candidate. He's made a name for himself as one of the most captivating heels in the business, and his ability to control the crowd with his mic work mirrors Cena's own rise to superstardom. The dynamic between Cena's never-give-up persona and MJF's better-than-you arrogance would instantly create a compelling feud. MJF also carries a unique blend of old-school wrestling psychology with a modern twist, making him a fitting opponent for Cena, whose work has often focused on overcoming personal and professional challenges. In many ways, MJF is the type of opponent who could bring out the best in Cena for one final match. He's young, brash, and hungry to cement his legacy by beating one of the greatest of all time. The Storyline, Legacy Versus The future the potential storyline between John Cena and MJF would practically write itself. Cena represents the old guard of WWE, an embodiment of everything the company stands for, from loyalty to respect and hard work. On the other hand, MJF represents a newer generation of wrestlers, one that values self-promotion, ego, and ruthlessness to get ahead. The feud could kick off with MJF taking personal shots at Cena's Hollywood career, accusing him of abandoning the WWE universe for fame and fortune. MJF could position himself as the new face of professional wrestling, proclaiming that Cena's time is up and the future belongs to stars like him. Cena, always proud of his wrestling roots, would be drawn back into the ring to defend not just his reputation, but the values that WWE has long stood for. For weeks, promos could build up the match as a battle for legacy. MJF, constantly mocking Cena for his PG persona and pandering to the fans, while Cena, always the consummate professional, would remind the world why he became one of the biggest stars in wrestling history. The clash of ideologies, MJF's brash, take-no-prisoners attitude against Cena's heroic, never-say-die resolve, would fuel the feud to a fever pitch. The match, Cena's ultimate test when the time for the match arrives, it would need to be held at a major event, WrestleMania, perhaps. The stakes would be incredibly high. Cena would be facing the ultimate question, can he still compete at the top level? And for MJF, it would be about proving that he's not just the future of professional wrestling, but the present. The match itself could be a grueling affair, with MJF focusing on wearing down Cena with submission holds and dirty tactics. The younger, quicker MJF could taunt Cena throughout the match, mocking him in the ring and trying to get into Cena's head. However, Cena would mount his trademark comeback, overcoming the odds just like he has so many times in the past. In the closing moments of the match, MJF could lock Cena in his signature submission move, Salt of the Earth, bringing Cena to the brink of tapping out. The crowd would hold its breath, wondering if Cena's illustrious career was about to end in defeat. But just as it seemed over, Cena would dig deep, countering the hold and delivering a final attitude adjustment. The question then becomes, does Cena win in his final match, solidifying his legacy as the ultimate WWE hero? Or does he pass the torch to MJF, allowing the AEW star to secure one of the biggest wins of his career? What would it mean for the future? Regardless of the outcome, this match would serve as a significant moment in both Cena's career and WWE history. If MJF were to win, it would instantly elevate him as a major player in WWE and show that Triple H is willing to pull out all the stops to create unforgettable moments in the wrestling world. Moreover, such a match could potentially open the door for more cross-promotional talent exchanges as Triple H has shown a willingness to blur the lines between WWE and other wrestling promotions. Bringing in someone like MJF would signal that WWE is focused on creating dream matches that transcend company lines. In conclusion, the possibility of Triple H hiring a top AEW star like MJF to face John Cena would be a monumental moment in wrestling history. 
it would be the perfect way for Cena to end his legendary career, while simultaneously ensuring that the future of professional wrestling remains as exciting as ever.